thanks for watching Parks in Your Pocket. My name is Dave, and tonight I'm taking a look at Slinky Dog Dash here at Hollywood Studios. Just for your reference, I'm six foot eight and I weigh over 350 pounds. Let's see how this ride measures up for big and tall riders like me. Slinky Dog Dash is a family coaster in Toy Story Land, the portion of the park that lets guests step into the shoes of Andy's toys. The theme of this ride is amazing. Everything in the environment looks like a kid built it out of toys and other common materials. You can also see Andy's plan for combining Slinky Dog with a toy roller coaster to make the ride. The seats are a little cramped, but I fit okay. The ride doesn't do any flips or inversions and is a very smooth experience, so the restraints are simply a lap bar. The lip of the lap bar is fairly narrow, and if you have very wide hips, you might be a little uncomfortable, but you should still be able to ride. Personally, I slide my feet off to one side so that the lap bar can come down a bit further because I can't put my feet underneath of the seat. While the ride is amazing during the day, at night it really comes to life with cool lighting effects on the track and more. What do I think of Slinky Dog Dash? Well, I like it. I don't know that it's worth like a 110 minute wait. Um, I just waited 40 minutes for it, and I feel like it was worth that for me. Um, but I'm not here all the, or I'm here all the time. So if you're on vacation and you really want to do it, and you're on vacation like soon, it's definitely worth the, the wait as if you're here at Hollywood Studios. Um, there are not a, a whole lot of rides up and running right now just because uh, Galaxy's Edge is coming and that's going to have a lot of really cool rides in it. Uh, they have a lot of different construction here. So um, of the rides that are here, Slinky Dog Dash is the one that's really hard to get. So if you can get a fast pass for it, definitely recommend it if you're coming to Hollywood Studios. Or if you really want to do it and you weren't able to get a fast pass for it, come really early in the morning. Uh, if you get here early in the morning and you make a beeline straight for Slinky Dog, you might be able to get that done before um, before the line gets really, really long, or at least get in the line and not be at the 110 minute wait mark. So, anyway, uh, the ride experience goes, it's, I wouldn't necessarily call it a kiddie coaster, but it's just a one step above a kiddie coaster, a family coaster, I guess. Um, it goes up pretty high. Um, there were little kids on the ride and they did not like it very much, uh, but I don't know. I don't know if they um, if they had experience with other rides. So if your kids like roller coasters, this one doesn't go upside down or anything, and it's very, very, very themed towards Toy Story. So the theming of this is spectacular. Uh, if your kids like Toy Story, they're going to like this ride. But it is it does go up high. Uh, I filmed it at night. Obviously, I'm I'm here at night. Uh, the park is closing, so I just kind of. Got on it to get a little footage just right before the park closed. Um, during the day, it's it's nice, but there isn't a lot of cover in the queue, so you might get really, really hot. Um, so they have the Slinky Dog is down that way, and they know that the queue gets really, really long. So they have this row of umbrellas here to give you a little bit of shade before you get into the queue. But once you get into the queue, there's hardly any shade for about the first third of it. As, as far as a big and tall perspective goes, it can be kind of hard to jam yourself in there. Um, you have to really put your legs together, but I'm able to take my take my feet and you know kick them out to one side, and then it gets my knees low enough that the bar is good. Uh, but I just have to have that little bit of space to be able to put my put my legs at, down at a at kind of an angle, and it's fine. Um, I never feel like I'm going to fall out of it, and I, I don't even hold the restraints on this ride, but there are some points where you're kind of leaning over pretty far and you feel like it's going to gonna put a lot of weight on the restraints, but it's, it's totally fine in my opinion. Um, so those are my thoughts on Slinky Dog Dash for big and tall riders. 
Uh, if you have any other rides here in the Orlando area that you would like me to review, please reach out to me either through a comment or through one of the social media uh, links that I have at the end of the video. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, it really does help us out. And if you can tell us, you know, anything that we've helped you with and help just reach out to us and, and interact with us, that really helps motivate us to make more videos and to, to give you more content. So again, thank you for watching Parks in Your Pocket. My name is Dave. I'll see you real soon. 45 minutes isn't too bad for Slinky Dog, so I'm gonna give it a shot and I'll bring you guys along. So there's a lot of people over here there. Like a lot of people. Behind me. <laughs> she was like, there's people behind me? No, they're, they're behind me.